have my Dr. Morse herbs down here, and I will talk about them in a second. But I had this on my heart this morning to talk about, and it has to do with allergies. So I know of so many people who have allergies, like myself. Now, there's kind of a caveat here because whenever I was growing up, I was allergic to two things, cats and nuts. And those are two things that I really don't know if I'm still allergic to because I'm afraid to, to eat peanuts or cashews um, or pistachios. Those were like the main three that I was allergic to. And I'm never around anyone that has a cat. So I wish that I had the courage to try nuts and I might someday. But, um, or I wish I had someone that had a cat that I could go around for like five minutes to see if I was allergic to. And I say that because I have been raw for four years and I've been steadily, slowly but surely detoxing my body. I haven't done anything crazy, well not to call it crazy, but I haven't done anything crazy like a 40 day water fast or a 26 day juice cleanse. Um, <clears throat> I've done small things like that, but in the big picture for me, how I have detoxed my body and cleansed it and tightened and toned it is um, on the cellular level is by eating a raw vegan diet for four years. A lot of fruit, a lot of juices, a lot of water, and a lot of salads. So that's how I detox my body. So I know that my lymph system is different than <laughs> what it was four or five years ago, okay? So that's what I want to really shout from the rooftops here today is that all allergies stem from the lymphatic system. So people are developing allergies later in their life and they're kind of scratching their head and going, what's going on? I have not had allergies my whole life. But that's just the thing. Since allergies do stem from the lymphatic system and the inability of the kidneys to filter the metabolic waste, um, you start developing allergies later in life because your lymphatic system just gets worse and worse and worse and worse as you age. Now a big way to tell if you have a backed up lymphatic system is number one, peeing in a jar, seeing if there's sediment. You want your pee inside of the jar. I know it's gross, but whatever. Um, you want it to look like a giant snow globe. You want lots of sediment. You want maybe some mucus strands because that's an indicator to you that your kidneys are filtering correctly because we have this massive lymphatic system, which is the sewer system, and it only gets filtered out of two things, the kidneys. So you want them to be flushing, flushing, flushing every time you go to the bathroom. Now another big way to tell is through your eyes, through iridology. Um, it's particularly easy if you have a blue eye or a green eye. Um, you know, iridology is harder to read on brown eyes. Definitely doable, but it's harder to read. But you can just look at someone with blue eyes, you can just look at them in person without having, without even having a close-up picture and you can tell if you have a backed up lymphatic system because they will have a lot of white in their eye. So all the white lines and all that in the eye, it's really not supposed to be there. That's an indicator of a backed up lymphatic system. So maybe I'll insert here a picture of a strong constitution, someone with a cleaned out and cleansed lymphatic system, someone with strong genes. As opposed to this, which is a weak constitution. This is someone that's probably had a lot of dairy in their life. They have a lot of that white lymph, which is just not good and the lymph, their lymph system needs to be cleaned out. So yeah, and obviously take a look at whatever your diet is. If you're all of a sudden having problems with allergies or maybe you've had them your whole life, what was the diet that your mom had her whole life and your dad? What was the diet that your mom had in her womb? And what is the diet that you've had since birth? And chances are it's not really going to be good because that's just kind of the day and age that we live in. Um, people either think they're healthy, but they're really not. Um, or they're just eating a crazy amount of trash. And that's what I used to do. I, gosh, I can't tell you the amount of pizzas that I had in my lifetime, okay? <laughs> but the good news is, is that you can turn it around. You can't erase your allergies without taking steroids and getting shots and all of that crazy stuff, which just ruins your adrenal glands and compounds the problem and covers it up. It doesn't really fix what's going on. So you can cleanse your lymph system. You can turn over a new leaf, no matter what age you are, and you can get rid of the yucky allergies because they're really not fun. So a tool that can help you do this is the God's Herbs from Dr. Robert Morse. 
Now, to me, he is a genius. Um, he is the detoxification master. He has it down very simply. And I love his herbs for that. So I often talk about in my videos, you know, change your diet and take, let's say, the kidney and bladder herbs from Dr. Morse, kidney and adrenal herbs. So today I kind of wanted to show you what they actually look like. If you've never seen Dr. Morse herbs, and even if you had, have seen them, let this be a refresher of the amazing beautifulness that is in these. Okay, so this is the lymphatic system tonic one. So these are the lymphatic system herbs number one in the capsule form. I myself like taking the capsules best because they don't have alcohol. Um, I know that the alcohol ones work faster, I think, but I just prefer to, I don't even take the capsule with this. I pop open the capsule because I don't want to ingest that either. And I stir it into some water and then I just knock it back. And these, you know, some of them are bitter. Um, I do take the GI broom and the capsules because that tastes disgusting, so I've heard. But these, I mean, I just pop in some water. So this is lymphatic system one. I mean, I'm just going to go through this really quickly. This is the infamous, or famous, I should say, kidney and bladder tonic number one. Now, they all have different properties. So kidney one might be a cleanser. Another one might be a strengthener. Um, I don't have all the answers with that. I would recommend that you call the Dr. Morse Clinic and get more thorough answers that way. This is Parasite G. I think everyone should deworm themselves and defungus themselves at least once a year. I need to be doing that soon. I, I did one about, I don't know, six or seven months ago. This is kidney and bladder tonic number two. Where's Parasite M? Oh, this is another Parasite G. Parasite M. Parasite M. Um, kidney and bladder tonic number one. I have a lot of the same ones. This is the adrenal gland tonic. Yes, 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 yes. And you always want to take the kidney and the adrenals together because they're like brother and sister. When your kidneys are down, your adrenals are going to be down. And when your adrenals are down, your kidneys are going to be down. It just kind of goes that way. Really, they should be glued together. And this is Heal All Tea capsules. Now, they sell a bag of Heal All Tea that you brew. Um, yourself, but this is just kind of like an easy way to just knock it back. Now, the tea has different uses. You can douche with it if you're having problems in that area, you know, uterine cysts, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can do enemas with it, I believe, and you can, of course, drink it. You can also put it on your skin as like a poultice. Is that the right word? Poultice? <laughs> but yeah, there's many ways. And then I also have this which is not an herb, but this is actually the little container I take um, to restaurants sometimes whenever I want to bring my own salad dressing. I'll just put this in my purse and it's small enough to where it's you know not that embarrassing to take into restaurants because I like eating my own salad dressings a lot of the time, not always, and I don't even need a dressing with a salad. Um, but yeah, sometimes I do that. This was randomly on that tray, so I thought I would show you that. But yeah, these are my herbs. I also have GI broom and Heal All Tea. I'm in a bag over in my kitchen somewhere. But this is just a reminder that if you have allergies, take the Dr. Morse herbs and change the diet. And you know, it might take a couple years, but watch them go away. It might take a couple weeks or two. I mean, everyone has a different system. Everyone has a different strength in their body. And it's just, everyone has a different journey. And that's just the beauty of life, right? But yeah, allergies are not fun. And when you go to the doctor, they really don't give you any answers. They just puff you full of prescription drugs and they don't tell you that allergies stem from the lymphatic system and if they do, um, do they really tell you about detoxification? I really doubt it. Um, but yeah, Dr. Morse definitely will. Also go to rawfigs.com and type in allergies and it will, it will pull up every single video where Dr. Morse talks about allergies and he's just a fountain of knowledge. Love him. Yeah, so that's my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out God's Herbs. I'm Dr. Morse and I'll see you later. Bye.